Hello and welcome to Sit Down with the Chief. We're here with Editor Richard Steyer, who's going to explain why Mayor de Blasio's plan to increase diversity in the specialized schools is not going to go anywhere in Albany this year. Richard? Well, it's almost as if the mayor devised this uh, with the idea that he didn't want it to go this time around. He introduced the idea uh, at the very beginning of June, at the tail end of the legislative session, uh, knowing that there was going to be Senate opposition, knowing that the governor was not going to look to walk into uh, the kind of minefield that this represents at a point when he's running for re-election. Uh, and his only real friend among the three men in a room, Carl Hasty, uh, quickly said, we're not going to move on this quickly. We're going to give all the stakeholders a chance to weigh in and we'll do it in a deliberative way. And in case anybody couldn't figure out what he was saying, a couple of days after that he said, well, no, it is not going to get done before we adjourn for the year on June the 20th. Uh, and it seems more likely that the mayor is hoping that he's going to be able to use this during the uh, state senate elections later on this year to help Democrats win a majority. Uh, the question becomes whether uh, whatever arguments you can make will be offset by the fact that particularly outside New York City, Republican state senators will be appealing to constituents by saying, do you want uh, Mayor de Blasio to be influencing uh, how government is run and uh, based on what happened in 2014 the answer is going to be a resounding no. Uh, there are problems with the idea that he has. I mean it's clear that there's a problem in the sense that uh, you have a very small percentage of uh, blacks and Latinos, uh, slightly less than 10 percent, who are in those eight uh, specialized schools. The three established ones um, Brooklyn Tech, Stuyvesant, and the Bronx High School of Science, as well as five others that uh, Mayor Bloomberg included during his tenure. Uh, the question is how you get that population up without putting others at a disadvantage. That it's not like dealing with the fire department where you could argue that there had been bias in the exams that worked to the benefit of uh, whites and that there was an old boy system in which the children of firefighters uh, would get a leg up in terms of coming into the department. That uh, these eight specialized schools right now are dominated by Asians. Uh, a, uh, the newest of the rising ethnic groups within the city and they are doing it not through great wealth in the community but because they've got a network of test prep uh, in which it's more affordable than it might be for uh, kids who are living in more affluent parts of the city and it's something that uh, their parents tend to stress day in and day out partly because of the interest in science and math which are the two essentials of uh, the three old line schools certainly and so are you going to look to make it easier for blacks and latinos to get in at the expense of asians and in the process hurt merit uh, well, that's that's a big part of the opposition, and there are things that can be done with the existing test that would probably help. One of them is that there have been complaints that uh, the test that's being given is delving into subject areas that are not being taught as part of the regular curriculum in a number of middle schools throughout the city. And so the answer is either you have to make sure that uh, those middle schools are uh, providing that instruction, or you have to exclude uh, anything that's not being done universally from middle school to middle school. I mean, part of the problem here also is that middle schools have long been the weak spot in terms of the uh, public school system. It was a big problem when Michael Bloomberg was mayor, and it hasn't gotten better when de Blasio is mayor, that uh, I came out of the public school system myself back in the 1960s and never thought about taking one of the specialized exams, partly because science and math weren't what I was looking to make a career in, but partly also because there was the assumption that in a lot of city neighborhoods, your local school was going to provide you with a good solid education, leave you ready for college. That's no longer an automatic today, and that's one of the other things that uh, will be talked about, that in some schools in poorer neighborhoods, that the level of education is such that the highest scorers, who the mayor is saying uh, would be given uh, preference in terms of being chosen, uh, very often are not able to do work on a par of what's being done in other high schools 
or in other middle schools throughout the city and so that they would be coming in at a disadvantage uh, when measured against their peers and might flounder and uh, might not be able to adapt comfortably and so uh, it's something where what he's done is a start in terms of a dialogue but it's too simplistic and uh, too potentially unfair in terms of who it would place at a disadvantage to expect that it's going to go anywhere but presumably they will be hashing things out so that next year they will have a head start in terms of putting something together that might leave all parties satisfied or at least not as disenchanted as some of them right now are. Thank you Richard Steyer and thank you for watching Sit Down with the Chief.